Hey guys, I'm Joe Klimczewski, founder of The Diet Doc, here in the coaching clinic this week with Kyle Frank. Kyle is one of our Diet Doc program owners in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And uh, besides doing just nutrition consulting, he loves getting in the mix with personal training and group training and all kinds of things, whatever it takes to help his clients live their best lives, have those physique and an entire life transformation. So welcome, Kyle. Thanks for being with me. So Kyle, you are in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and uh, I think that probably gives you a good mix of, of clients, a lot of different population. I know I've been in Eau Claire with you, and it's a, it's a moderate-sized community, but, but kind of high-tech. So you know, you're up there where you, you know, I, th I think of Green Bay and, and even over in Minneapolis, West Paul. So there's, there's just a great mix of uh, upper Midwest, you know, down-to-earth people, but also a lot of high-tech stuff. Uh, also a very progressive area. So do you see any changes in, in what people are like when they come to you now and they say, hey, you know, I, I, I want to hire you. I want you to help me with my, my nutrition goals or my training goals or physique goals, health goals. Uh, what are you seeing as far as a difference? As far as a difference in just elaborate a little bit more, I guess, sorry. No, what, what, uh, what, what people are, are, are looking for? What do they come in and ask you for? What are their goals? A uh, majority of my people that I work with are going to be just um, general population weight loss. I work in a CrossFit gym now so um, as one of the trainers, so I'm getting a lot of um, kind, of, kind of fun, getting people that are kind of more after athletic endeavors. So um, that's kind of fun playing around with nutrition for them. It's going to be a little bit different than my, you know, my gen pop people. But mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff that we talk about as a company as a whole is, you know, we, we throw around the term structured flexibility a lot. And that's really, that's really what people are coming and looking for is they want, they want a plan that they can follow and then trying to tease in, you know, flexibility for them to help them learn some things on their own. And then, um, just learn how to be, just learn how to be flexible, but give them the structure that they need to succeed because everybody needs you know, some first steps to just follow a, a direct plan and, and get them on the, on the ball and get rolling. Yeah. Do, do you see, um, you know, you mentioned CrossFit and, and that is definitely a higher level population in terms of uh, athletic uh, demand. Uh, do you see more people coming looking for that? Or are they coming almost like a, a weight loss clinic type facade or are they really looking for, you know, I, I want to get in shape and I know that takes hard work. Both, both, I don't know, I, I get a good mix. A lot of my clients are generally just general pop people. And now I've been kind of trickling in with, with some CrossFit people. But a lot of my CrossFit people are also looking for weight loss because they know that if they, if they can drop some pounds, it's going to help them with their gymnastic skills and stuff where they're using, you know, being, um, muscle ups or being upside down for handstand push ups. So it's a good, it's a good mix between, I guess, both parties, really. Mm -hmm. if, if somebody comes to you for nutrition only and, and they think that's what I need, I need to lose weight, I'm going to hire this guy, he's going to help me, uh, do, do you try and get them into a, a much more uh, active lifestyle? How do, how do you bridge that gap? Yeah, yeah. so I actually run the diet doc right out of this gym, which is nice because they have to walk, they walk through the gym on their way back to this little office that I'm, I'm sitting in right now, and they always ask what they're doing you know, for whatever they're doing for an exercise regime, and regimen I'm sorry and um and if they're not doing anything I can we can obviously still help them but there's so many benefits to being just more active not only in their pursuit of weight loss which is usually the case but just overall health in general so I will always bring that up and I'm very I'm very I'm a you know me I'm a very laid-back guy and I that's just how I roll and, and I tell them like hey you should you know here's a little card for a free week of classes you should come in and hang out with us and it'll be a lot of fun and try to get them in there and and if they're, you know, CrossFit's one of those things where it can be intimidating for a lot of people because it is, there's some, you know, you see, you hear stuff, but then you see like a lot of really in shape people and it can be overwhelming and, and intimidating. So those people that are completely opposed to it, you know, just letting them know just simple things like increasing activity throughout the day by walking as simple as that is, is will pay huge dividends towards their end goals. Mm -hmm. Now, when you, when you do have some of those people who come in from the general population, and uh, I, I like that I've seen in the industry, people are calling these lifestyle clients. I, I think that's a really clean way of describing them. Now, I've, I've always used that term too, you know, gen pop, general population. And uh, so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably try and change my, change my language to that. So, so these lifestyle clients are coming in. 
and and you want to see them more active, but do you see a difference in longevity for their success? If somebody comes to you and they, let's say they lose 30 pounds or 50 pounds, but they never really got into training aggressively, and it doesn't have to be aggressively, just consistently, but you've got those people who just lose weight and then go on their way, and other people really integrate into, you know, I would say loving or at least liking being active. You know, do, do you track that their success in terms of sustainability? Again, again, that's kind of right in the borderline. I have had people that are not active at all, um, and they do just fine. And they say, you know, I've, I keep in touch with some of my clients, and they're doing they're doing fantastic. Um, but then I do find people that can kind of come full circle and make, you know, just just some sort of activity or a, a little routine as part of their day. I, I think the I just think it it ends up sustainability wise, it just ends up a better result every time. Hmm. Yeah. Do, do you see within, I mean, you have this CrossFit community here. You've worked in other gyms too that were more just boot camp facility, group training type fitness centers. Um, you know, tell me about the difference of that because they're both pretty hardcore. It's, it's pretty aggressive group training. But do you see any, any trends in terms of how people are adapting to that? And are they staying with it? Do they like that better than just linear personal training, you know, one-on-one? -on -one? I really think... Um to be honest, I used to, so I'll kind of bounce to my own my own experience. Um, I used to be the guy, and every once in a while I still do this. Like I used to just kind of be on my own and just train in the corner of a gym and and whatever. But I think there's a lot of value in having on the boot camp side of things where you came and, and you visited us, and even here, having that built-in community. I think um, I think it helps a lot because you get people that make friends. Um, you you kind of you look forward to seeing your friends after work or before work coming in here. Um, naturally, you know, in, in both places I've worked, there's a lot of support from surrounding members. So I think, I think the likelihood of somebody staying with a fitness program is going to skyrocket if they're more generally more in group, just because you have that built in accountability and built in support from, from not only the trainers, but the members too. Yeah, it, it does make a huge difference. And you're training that way personally now? Are you, are you involved in some of the classes yourself? So I do my own thing still. Um, I, I still love my bodybuilding slash power lifting style workouts, but I also, I love CrossFit stuff too. I was actually just in my first competition a few weeks ago and that was a lot of fun. But yeah, I will, I purposely yeah. jump in with members because it's fun. It's, you know, a lot of my friends now are from this gym and I, it's fun to work out with them. We joke around and there's a lot of laughing that happens and it's a good, good time. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. And, and you know, I'll, I'll never leave my, you know, core bodybuilding type powerlifting training as well. But I will say I've never been as athletic and in that kind of shape as when we were doing those similar type of boot camp training uh, sessions a couple times a week here in Evansville back when, you know, we had Corey, you know, still here, not in California. And, and that was just part of our programming was very, very much a functional training type system. And, and of course I was doing them too, you know, in addition to my other training and just that little bit of extra pushing that you do because you're in a group environment or those exercises, those movements that you may not do on your own. Um, but in that class they're required, it's just, it, it really can be a game changer physically. I totally agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So if somebody came to you, like if I said, you know, hey, my mom just happened to move to Eau Claire and she's going to go uh, train with Kyle uh, and, and she wants to be in better shape in terms of maybe a little bit of weight loss or eating better and uh, training, what would your approach, what would you say, you know, hey, Mrs. Klumzeski, here's what you need to do. This is what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do with you. Uh, if, you know, if it's a, if the thing that I like about any, any, really any fitness thing is you can no matter where somebody's starting is somebody's starting point is you can modify and, and adapt any exercise program for them. So even, you know, back to cross with being intimidating for people. Um, I've got, I've got a couple girls in here as young as 16 years old. And then I have, you know, I have a woman that's almost 60 years old and with two knee replacements and she's in here crushing stuff. You know, if it comes down to, you know, choosing one or the other, I'm, I'm, I just see what they would rather do. I'm biased towards nutrition because I just think that's, internally and externally like where it starts and then easing them into um easing them into like a fitness program so uh, a lot of times especially here we'll do a few one-on-one -on -one sessions with new members kind of get them comfortable with some of the movements that they're going to see in class and then 
eventually progress them into to being in the classes with everybody else, with the rest of the community. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll say one more thing about that word community. Uh, even some of the people that we had who would come to our classes, you know, they may have reached their, their ultimate physical goals. We had people lose 60 pounds, 70 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds. And uh, as long as they were coming to those classes every week and they had that community, it did this functional training that we had, um, you know, it seemed to be more motivating. And then when we, we broke that apart and we moved our offices, national offices to San Diego and Nashville, you know, now I know some of those clients we've had have uh, struggled a little bit. You know, they don't have that community. They haven't been able to replace that. And, and I've learned to, uh, to see that that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a human thing. I mean, we just simply do better in community. We do better when we have support and encouragement. And we're not only feeling accountable to other people, but we can teach them. I mean, we can, we can be the support other people need. So uh, let, let me ask one more question this way. If you had... Uh, well, somebody in Wisconsin just won Powerball. I don't know if you heard that. So it wasn't me. let's pretend it was you and you had $750 billion to spend this morning um, and you could design your own facility. I mean, nutrition, fitness, anything you could have, what would the best absolute utopic training and fitness facility be like for uh, Kyle Frank? stuff in it that's for sure um you know that i like spartan races so i throw a whole bunch of fun stuff in there but it would really it wouldn't I, I don't know i don't think i would actually go super fancy i really think you can get a lot done with a lot just basic stuff and and i and I, you can i think you can have all the cool what i don't even know the equipment that's out there nowadays but you can have the highest tech stuff available but i really truly believe that unless you have um the support from you know your your trainers or the com the community built in like it doesn't matter so I think you can get I don't know I'd throw some fun toys in there um just old school stuff sleds and stuff like that maybe a rock climbing wall but other than that it's just going to be be pretty pretty standard stuff because I what I've used it gets the job done and well what I what I think I hear you saying and and I, I'm really happy you answer this way is that it's still, even if you had unlimited resources, it's still all about having that community group training type support. So, you know, you don't need, you know, a million dollars worth of equipment. You just need the right trainer, the right movements, the right support, and, uh, and you can get it done, you know, very easily. Yeah, exactly. Cool, man. So uh, how can people contact you in Eau Claire? I know we're going to put some stuff in the show notes, but just anybody who's, who can randomly write it down here now, how do they get a hold of you? be kyle at the diet.com or that's just the, the best way to get a hold of me they can find me on facebook i have people reach out to there i'm um, just kyle frank um, that's really the two best ways to get in contact with me awesome man and uh are you training for more spartan races i know you were on quite a tear there for a while yes um we've got one coming up in june over in minnesota and it's 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 a bunch of members from this gym. We all decided to go together and, and do it together. So we're going to head over there. Um, I don't know if I'll be traveling to places like Montana and wherever else I went with, because I felt like I almost died when I went with those guys. But um, I don't know. It's always an option. And, and I hope I get back out there and do some work because they're a lot of fun. Yeah, you, uh, you guys had me all, almost. I was this close to, uh, to saying, yes, I'll do one and I'll start training for one. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. It's, uh, that's a little bit of a different world for me. Corey, Corey said she was on board. You know Vanessa will be so. You get a group of us. I, I, I'll, we'll talk about that off camera. We'll see, we'll see. All right. All right, man. Well, thank you very much, Kyle. Again, Kyle Frank from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, the diet doc owner of Eau Claire. And uh, guys, we, we love to bring you information like this, not just from our perspective, but some of the, the best coaches out there. So uh, hang out with us. Um, subscribe and uh, check out everything from our YouTube channel to our website, thedietdoc.com. We're even on iTunes and SoundCloud. But uh, you guys subscribe there. We'll keep hanging out with some cool people like Kyle, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks, Kyle. We'll see you later.